On to Iraq now, where protesters once again breached Iraq's parliament in a show of support for the country's influential Shia leader, Muqtada al-Sadr. This comes as the West Asian nation continues to face the heat of a worsening crisis triggered by a long-dragged political stalemate. Al-Sadr supporters stormed Baghdad's heavily fortified green zone on Saturday with no immediate plans of leaving the area until their demands are met. Some 125 people have been injured in the process. This is the second time in a week that protesters have forced their way into the legislative chamber. They initially massed at the end of a bridge leading to the closely guarded green zone here, which is home to a number of important buildings including embassies. But dozens of them then tore down concrete barriers protecting the area ran inside the parliament. Now, Iraq's caretaker Prime Minister Mustafa al-Khadimi, meanwhile, has called for an immediate restraint. During a video address, Khadimi encouraged all political blocs to sit down and negotiate to reach an understanding. شعبنا تواقل الحياة وهو لا يهوى الفتنة والدم والاقتتال والانتقام والتناحر ولا يهوى الحقد والكراهية ويطلع لمستقبل يوازي حجم التضحيات والمعاناة التي مر بها وعليه لا بد أن تجلس الكتل السياسية وتتحاور وتتفاهم من أجل العراق now, these demonstrations are the latest in the series of mass protests that have rocked the West Asian nations for weeks now. The big question here, what are the Sada supporters protesting for? Well, they're basically opposing the nomination of a pro-Iran rival candidate for Prime Minister's post, that is Mohammad al-Sudani, a former minister and ex-provincial governor, is the pro-Iran coordination framework's pick for Premier. Al-Sadr has repeatedly rejected his candidacy. This comes as even after 10 months of election, the country has failed to form a government. Since Iraq's October 2021 election, talks to form a new government have stalled. Al-Sadr's bloc won 74 seats in the October polls. This made them the largest faction in Iraq's 329-seat parliament. Despite this win, Iraqi law requires a supermajority of two-thirds to elect a president, which Al-Sadr did not have. And according to Iraqi law, a government can only be formed once a president is elected. By pact, the post of a prime minister goes to a leader from Iraq's Shiite majority. Sadr, a former militia leader, had initially supported the idea of a majority government that would have sent his Shiite adversaries from the pro-Iran coordination framework into opposition. But last month, Sadr's 73 lawmakers quit in a move seen as seeking to pressure his rivals to fast-track the establishment of a government. 64 new lawmakers were sworn in later in June, making the pro-Iran bloc the largest in the parliament. Now for more on this, journalist Sardar Sattar earlier joined us from Erbil and this is what he had to say. Let's listen in. We have to, uh, th before, before uh, discussing this, we have to understand that the constitution of Iraq has made it clear that the majority in the parliament which is allowed to form the new government is two-thirds of the government, uh, two-thirds to meet the, the quorum to uh, hold the uh, special session for election of the uh, prime minister, and then uh, a two-thirds uh, vote for the uh, prime minister to be allowed to form the government. Muqtada Assad previously held 73 seats at the parliament. He formed a, a, an alliance with the uh, KDP, the winner of the Kurdistan region, the Kurdistan Democratic Party in, in the Kurdistan region, and the uh, biggest uh, faction of the uh, Iraqi Sunnis. He, uh, he did not uh, make uh, the majority of the parliament, but he was very close. The problem was at, at the time, the problem was that the uh, coordination framework, which, uh, which consists the uh, pro-Iran Shia factions, the rivals of Muqtada al blocked his attempts three times from, uh, from forming the government. So at, at this time, they are pushing to, uh, th this is kind of like uh, a, a fight, fighting back. They were blocked at once and they are blocking the attempts of the a coalition framework from uh, preventing them from uh, forming the new government, which is most likely. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.